In this video, I'm going to break down the components necessary to create the perfect podcast trailer and why a podcast trailer is a smart thing to have handy when launching your podcast. So what exactly is a podcast trailer? Where do they appear and why make one? A trailer is a short sample of your podcast, usually between a minute 30 and three minutes in duration. Now, why this long? Well, a trailer might be the very first thing you publish to your RSS feed. And as such, we want to ensure that we can measure it. And according to the IAB, an audio file must be at least one minute long to count as a download. This sample episode gives your audience a first impression of who you are and what your podcast is about. Think of podcast trailers the same way you would think of trailers for a new movie. The trailer should capture your audience's attention and persuade them to tap on that follow button. Here's a sample of a really awesome trailer that was featured on Libsyn's very own podcast, The Feed, the official Libsyn podcast. If you love black music, you got to check out Cue Points. I'm Sir Daniel and I'm a DJ. I'm Jay Ray, a lover of black music history. Join us as two music heads give you the lowdown on everything from the dopest MCs to hip hop and fashion. Listen to Cue Points on your favorite podcast platform and check out our website at cuepoints.com. That's Q U E U E points.com. The other great thing about trailers is that they are featured prominently at the top in certain podcast apps like Apple Podcasts and Spotify, making it extremely easy for new listeners to engage with your show from the get-go. And finally, since they are relatively short and take less time to create, trailers are a fantastic way to promote your show in advance of your full episodes. When you're just starting off, creating that first episode is maybe between 30 minutes to an hour long, can feel like a mammoth sized task. But creating a trailer that is, what, five minutes tops? That right there can give you the confidence boost you need going into recording your first episodes. Now, creating a trailer really isn't all that different from creating a new episode. So let's break down each step in the process. Scripting is undeniably the first step now, while you might not plan to script your entire podcast episodes, I highly suggest at minimum outlining or outright scripting your podcast trailer. Here are some things that you absolutely should include in your podcast trailer script. Who you are. Introduce yourself to your audience. Give your audience a taste of your personality. So are you witty? Funny? Laid back? Serious? Podcasts are intimate experiences. Audiences will connect with not only the topic of a show, but with the personality of a host, the name of your podcast. Believe it or not, people need to know what your podcast is called, what the audience will hear each episode. Give your audience a broad, high level, brief description of what you intend every episode of your podcast to be centered on. If you plan on making a show about interviews with successful entrepreneurs, tell your audience that. You need to be as transparent and upfront with your audience so that they are aware of what exactly your podcast is about, why they should listen. Define exactly why your audience should listen to your podcast over the countless others that may exist within your niche. What is it exactly that you and only you are bringing to the table that will keep your audience coming back for more. For example, if it's a podcast featuring interviews with successful entrepreneurs, could it be that they are providing insight in actionable steps that led to their successes? That certainly would be a podcast that I might want to listen to. Where can they go to listen to you? This is extremely important. Tell your audience exactly what you want them to do after listening to your trailer. It could be as simple as head over to my website and subscribe to my newsletter. Or as in the case with most podcasts, we want them to tap on the follow button within their podcast app. Pick one and only one action that you want the audience to do. Now scripting, while important, isn't nearly as fun as recording. So I've included a script template that you can use right now in the link in this video. Check the link in the description to access the script template. 
For recording our trailer, we could very easily just use our phone. But remember, this is the first impression that your audience is gonna have about you and your podcast. So let's sound as professional and polished as we possibly can. I'll be using my Rode Pod mic plugged directly into my Focusrite Solo. For recording software, we'll keep it real simple and really free by using Audacity. To get set up recording in Audacity, it's extremely easy. Our first thing to do is go ahead and enable our recording and playback devices. So to do this, we'll go up to our audio setup, we'll click on recording device and make sure that our microphone is chosen. For me, I've got my microphone plugged into the Focusrite Scarlett, and that's what we're gonna choose. For our playback, we wanna make sure that our headphone or speaker device is chosen. I'm playing back through the Scarlett as well, so that's what I'm gonna be using. The last thing we wanna check is our recording channels. Now, most podcasts are recorded in mono, so I wanna enable that, but you could record in stereo if you choose to. With that set up, we're almost ready to go. I wanna make sure that I can monitor my voice before I'm actually recording. So I'm gonna click on my microphone icon here and enable silent monitoring. And you can see right now that my levels are now bouncing. So to actually start the recording, it's really simple. We just gotta hit this red button right here. And if we look right there, there you can see now my audio is coming in and recording. And from there, we can stop it by hitting the space bar and start recording more audio or start editing. Editing the trailer is also going to be relatively straightforward. I'm gonna use a piece of royalty-free music to sit just right under my voice. Music is a great addition as it can drive home the feeling and vibe that your podcast is trying to communicate to your audience. I like to start my music at full volume and then right as my voice comes in, I'll duck down the audio to about negative 24 dB. For vocal editing, we're gonna keep it really simple. Let's just run the noise reduction effect to remove any background noise that could be caught in our recording. Check out this video to see this process broken out in more detail. I'll also raise the loudness level of my voice to peak at around negative one dB. From there, we can export out our MP3. With our trailer now done, we wanna export this out of Audacity and exporting audio out of Audacity is extremely easy. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to File, we're gonna go to Export Audio, and in here we want to choose for our format, MP3. We're gonna name our file, Trailer, and we have a couple options here to choose. So we can either choose to export stereo or mono. I want a mono file, 44100 hertz is our sample rate, and under bitrate mode, I'm actually gonna choose, instead of preset, constant. And for constant bitrate, which is what we want for our podcast audio, we're gonna choose a quality amount. Now, this is gonna dictate how much space uh, your file is gonna take up, how big that file is. So for spoken word, we can aim around 96 kilobits per second for the uh, audio file, or we could go anywhere up to, I'd say, 128. So. I'm actually gonna pick 128, but you could do 96 if you want to. And we're gonna apply this to the entire project, not multiple files, and we're gonna hit export. Uploading our trailer is fortunately not that much different than uploading a standard episode, with a few exceptions. In the Libsyn dashboard, go to new and choose episode. Drop our trailer file into the new media section. Down in the episode details, let's title our trailer, trailer. In the episode type, change the episode type to trailer and give it an episode number of zero. For the episode description, write down a brief description of what your podcast is about. This should align with what you spoke about in your podcast trailer. Be sure to mention your call to action and include any relevant links to your podcast social media accounts. Yay, we have a trailer to our podcast, but what can we actually do with it? First and foremost, with our trailer published, we can now submit our podcast to all of the podcast directories out there. Once your podcast is live, share out your trailer episode with your friends, your family, and any social media followers. Encourage them to click the follow button on their podcast app of choice. This will help secure your first few followers while at the same time building hype for your show 
before you've even put out your first episode. Secondly, don't stop at just social media to get your trailer out to the world. Several podcasts out there feature trailers from new podcasts. Our own podcast, The Feed, the official Libsyn podcast, features trailers and promos from independent podcasters just like you every episode. Trailer Park, the podcast trailer podcast, hosted by Ariel Nissenblatt and Tim Villegas, is a podcast that features only podcast trailers. Check the link in the description for a way for you to submit your podcast trailer today. With your trailer in hand, you've got a leg up on marketing your podcast and building that brand awareness. Be sure to check the links in the description of this video for the podcast trailer script template, as well as links to submit your podcast trailer to both the feed and the Trailer Park Podcast. And if you need a bit more help crafting your podcast, do me a favor, check out this video. I'm Brian Coddington with Libsyn, and remember, keep podcasting.